The movie opens with a suspenseful scene, where an asteroid travels towards Earth, bringing with it microscopic alien life forms. These extraterrestrial beings possess the ability to take control of their host body. Initially, they start small, infiltrating insects, and gradually escalate to targeting humans, using mosquitoes as their primary vectors. The process is disturbingly efficient. Once an infected insect bites a human, the alien parasite enters the body and multiplies into numerous worm-like entities. The most reliable method to identify an infected person is to look for these worm-like creatures within their eyes. The story then introduces us to the main character, Malik, a dedicated U.S. Marine and father of two sons, Jay and Bobby. Unfortunately, Malik is estranged from his family, with his ex-wife, Pia, living with Dylan, her new partner, along with their children. It's been nearly two years since Malik last saw his sons, a separation that weighs heavily on him. One morning, Malik wakes up and meticulously examines his own eyes for signs of infection. He takes no chances, killing a few mosquitoes with insecticide and spraying it liberally over his body. He then reviews details of a top-secret mission centered on the alien parasites. The mission's objective is to identify and isolate individuals who have not yet been infected. Malik, filled with a sense of duty, packs his backpack and prepares to leave. He writes to his children, expressing his deep longing to see them again. Meanwhile, Pia, who is likely pregnant, is seen vomiting. Tensions are apparent in the household. Jay and Dylan do not get along well, although Bobby remains a cheerful presence. In a surprising and emotional turn of events, Malik unexpectedly visits Jay's room at night. The reunion is tender as they share a heartfelt hug. Malik, driven by his mission, carefully checks Jay's eyes for signs of infection, reassuring him when he finds none. He then does the same of Bobby. Once convinced of their safety, Malik secretly takes the boys out of the house and into his car for an unplanned road trip. Jay, curious and confused, questions why Pia told them Malik was away on a mission. Malik improvises, saying it was meant to be a surprise, and adds that Pia and Dylan are on a vacation of their own. To ensure their safety, he hands the boys bug spray and then stops at a local gas station for supplies. While Malik is inside the store, Jay discovers Malik's mission book in the bag and begins to uncover the unsettling truth about the alien parasites, as evidenced by the disturbing pictures of bugs within the book. As the story progresses, Malik, along with his sons Jay and Bobby, resumes their journey on the road. Jay, curious about the unsettling images he saw in Malik's book, questions his father about the bugs. Malik briefly explains that they are parasites but refrains from divulging more details, maintaining an air of secrecy. Their trip is momentarily interrupted when Jay needs a bathroom break. As they stop, a routine encounter with a police officer quickly escalates. The officer, upon discovering Malik's gun, questions him. Malik tries to explain his intentions for the road trip, but his attention shifts when he notices worm-like creatures in the officer's eyes, indicating infection. In a tense moment, Malik attempts to retrieve his ID, but the situation spirals out of control as the officer draws his gun and then uses a stun gun on Malik. A struggle ensues with Malik eventually overpowering the officer and leaving him on the ground as the boys watch in shock. Malik then hurries the boys back into the car and drives away. The boys, distressed by the recent events, leave with Malik to return home. However, Malik reveals the true nature of their journey. It's not a leisurely road trip, but a rescue mission. He explains the threat of the alien parasites, shattering the boys' hopes of returning to their mother by informing them that she too is infected. Malik assures them that their destination, a base where scientists are working on a cure, is their best hope. He emphasizes the importance of sticking together, no matter what, as they continue their journey. The next morning brings a moment of terror when the cop from the previous encounter appears in a nightmare, shooting Jay. The nightmare ends, and Jay awakens to a conversation with Malik, who elaborates on the alien's progression through different species. Malik informs them they will reach the base in Nevada by the next afternoon. After a brief breakfast, Malik steps into a store, leaving the boys in the car. A tense moment occurs when a homeless woman approaches the car, prompting the kids to hide. However, Bobby, in a panic, dashes into the store with Jay in pursuit. Jay eventually finds Malik and alerts him to the situation. They find Bobby, frantically spraying his face with insecticide in fear. Malik sternly reminds them that they are in dangerous territory and must avoid drawing attention. He then urges Jay to act with more maturity and caution, despite his young age, underlining the gravity of their situation. Back on the road, 
Jay shares his observations about their mother Pia's unusual behavior, like her morning sickness and odd food cravings. Hearing this, Malik suspects that Pia might be pregnant. Concerned, he pulls over to make a call to the base. Instead, he ends up calling his parole officer, Hattie. It is then revealed that Malik has missed a crucial psychiatric evaluation. Hattie, alarmed upon learning that Malik has taken the boys, urges him to either come to her or reveal his location. Malik, however, sidesteps her request and instead asks her to check on Paya, hinting that she might be in danger in the garage with Dylan. He hangs up abruptly, despite Hattie's repeated attempts to call back, trusting that she will take appropriate action. On the road, Malik struggles to maintain focus as the boys, particularly Bobby, become increasingly restless. When Bobby accidentally drops his toy, despite Malik's earlier instructions, tensions rise. Malik refuses to turn back for the toy, leading to a moment of chaos where Bobby grabs Malik's head, nearly causing a car accident. Malik's reaction frightens Bobby, resulting in him wetting his pants and running away from the car. Malik chases after him, eventually catching him and apologizing for his outburst. They retrieve the toy and resume their journey. Meanwhile, the situation escalates at Pia's home, where Hattie and the police discover Pia and Dylan tied up in the garage. During the interrogation, Pia recounts Malik's strange behavior, including his inspection of her eyes with a penlight and his cryptic accusation that she is one of them. Overwhelmed with concern for her boys, Pia breaks down in tears. Hattie, now under scrutiny for not reporting Malik's behavior sooner, faces questioning from Lance, a special agent in child abduction. She discloses Malik's troubled past, including a court martial for assaulting his captain and subsequent imprisonment. Despite this, Hattie insists Malik is fundamentally a good person, but Lance is skeptical, fearing for the boy's safety. Agent Shepard, another law enforcement officer, expresses a dire suspicion. He believes Malik could be a family annihilator, a threat to both his children and himself. He emphasizes Malik's volatile history and the fact that he took only a gun on the road trip, insisting they must act swiftly to prevent a potential tragedy. Contrasting with this tense situation, the film shows Malik and the boys enjoying moments of bonding. Malik teaches Jay how to shoot, and they all go swimming in a lake, creating memories of happier times. However, unbeknownst to them, Agent Shippard has mobilized a team to find Malik and the boys, concerned that Malik may have convinced his children that he is a protective father, potentially obscuring the danger of their situation. Hattie is then seen grappling with guilt during a visit to her family at a bowling alley. She confides in her husband Ernie, expressing regret for misjudging Malik's situation, feeling that she's made a significant error in handling his case. Meanwhile, Malik and his sons, Jay and Bobby, find comfort at a campsite by a fire. Malik shares with Jay his observations about the boys' personalities, Bobby's likeness to himself and Jay's remarkable calmness in difficult situations, which he describes as a unique strength. In a lighter moment, Malik recounts to Jay the humorous story of how he first met their mother, Pia, involving an accidental kick to her head while attempting a backflip at a dance. Jay finds amusement in the story, but his laughter fades as Malik points out meteors in the sky, which Jay cannot see, leading to a sense of confusion and doubt. Their journey hits a snag when they discover a flat tire. In a parallel scene, Hattie seeks insight from Rawl, a former Marine and friend of Malik's. Rawl details the traumatic event that led to Malik's dishonorable discharge from the Marine Corps, including harrowing experiences in combat and disturbing encounters with children in wreckage, which profoundly affected Malik. Rawl also mentions the peculiar letters he received from Malik, filled with odd drawings, hinting at Malik's deteriorating mental state. As they continue on their journey, Jay questions the reality of the alien attack, noting the absence of any related news or evidence. Malik insists that the truth is being concealed, but Jay remains skeptical. This prompts Malik to stop the car and confront Jay's doubts, leading to another tense moment where Malik checks Jay's eyes for signs of infection. The narrative takes a dark turn when Malik, armed and injured, enters a nearby house. He encounters an old man named McKinley, who holds him at gunpoint. McKinley, Aware of the bounty on Malik's head from the news, wants to have a conversation. However, when McKinley steps into the light, Malik sees his face distorted with worms and fleas, leading to a violent confrontation. Malik eventually subdues McKinley, only to realize the man appears healthy and uninfected. Back at the car, Jay, using Malik's phone, contacts Hattie and discovers the truth about his mother and the non-existence of the aliens. 
Malik returns with McKinley's car, fabricating a story about killing a large alien. Severely injured and unable to drive, Malik teaches Jay how to drive. They venture into an abandoned town and seek shelter in a house to rest. In a pivotal scene, Hattie visits Shepard, expressing her determination to join the search for Malik. She argues against the notion of Malik being a family annihilator, instead suggesting that he is suffering from an undiagnosed psychotic disorder. Hattie shares her insight that Malik's actions are driven by a delusion of protecting his children from an imaginary alien threat. Shepard is wary, believing that Malik's delusions make him even more dangerous, but Hattie insists on being part of the mission, driven by her understanding of Malik's mental state. Meanwhile, Dwight and Kurt, sons of the man Malik encountered, McKinley, return home to find their father unconscious on the floor. Relieved to find him alive, they question him about the assailant. Concurrently, Jay and Bobby venture into a nearby town in search of food and medicine. At a store, Jay purchases painkillers, but the cashier notices blood stains on the money. It's here that Jay overhears a radio broadcast announcing that his father is wanted for kidnapping and assault. Back with Malik, he experiences a disturbing moment, seeing something moving under his skin, which heightens his paranoia. This moment of crisis leads Malik to a painful realization of his mental condition and the falsehood of his alien invasion belief. The boys return to Malik, where tensions escalate into a fight between Jay and Bobby, resulting in Bobby running away. Jay confronts Malik, who admits to lying about the alien threat, his time in prison, and his struggles with mental health. Dwight and Kurt, having tracked down the boys, arrive at the abandoned house with Bobby. The situation quickly escalates as Dwight, in a panic, opens fire. Malik, in a desperate attempt to protect his sons, manages to subdue both men without causing further harm and they make a narrow escape. In a heartbreaking moment, Malik calls his ex-wife Pia, giving her the address of a diner where he plans to leave the boys, resigned to the fact that he cannot return to prison. He bids a tearful farewell to his sons and leaves him at the diner. However, as police and helicopters begin to pursue him, Malik discovers Jay hidden in the backseat of his car. Jay refuses to leave his father, leading to a tense chase. The standoff intensifies into the night, with Shepard and Hattie attempting to negotiate with Malik. Despite Hattie's assurances about considering his mental health in legal proceedings, the situation escalates when the police attempt a forceful approach, leading Malik to open fire in defense. In the intense finale, Jay, believing his father to be a hero, exits the car and confronts the police with a gun. Malik, in a desperate bid to save his son, distracts the police and convinces Jay to drop the weapon and run to him. The movie concludes with an emotional scene of Jay dropping the gun and running into his father's embrace, encapsulating the profound bond between father and son amidst the chaos and tragedy of their circumstances.